Hi everyone. In the previous session, we studied about AC amplifiers and DC amplifiers. Now in this session, we study about comparators, zero crossing detector and spectacle. So basically a comparator is nothing but an op amp wherein it compares the two input signals given to the inverting and non-inverting terminals and provides the output based on the magnitude of the two input signals. So here in uh, comparator we have uh, two types non-inverting comparator and inverting comparator. First we'll consider non-inverting comparator. Okay here this input voltage V in is a sinusoidal signal that is given as input to the non-inverting terminal hence the name a non-inverting comparator here v reference is the reference voltage of one volt is given to the inverting terminal through the resistor r this resistor r is the offset minimizing resistor it reduces the offset voltage and it is given to the inverting terminal and here we have two diodes D1 and D2 connected between inverting and non-inverting terminals. These two diodes will provide protection for the op amp if in case there is large amount of input current into the op amp that will cause damage. So these op amps will protect the op amp from such type of damages and these two op amps D1 and D2 will clamp the differential voltage VID that is present between the two input terminals to either plus or minus 0.7 volts. Hence, these two diodes are also known as clamping diodes. So, this is all about the non inverting uh, comparator uh, configuration. So, here, uh, based upon the magnitude of the two input signals, the output voltage will be decided. So if V in is greater than V reference, the output voltage will be equal to plus V sat, that is a saturation voltage. That is almost equal to plus VCC. If V in is lesser than reference voltage, V out will be equal to minus V sat, that almost is equal to VEE. So here you can observe from the waveform, this V reference we have considered to be positive and negative. So if V reference is positive, whenever V in is greater than the V reference voltage, you can find V naught is uh, positive. So here V naught at this particular instance of time, V naught, uh, sorry, V in is making a transition in negative direction. And here till here it was the case wherein V in is greater than V reference. But here V in is lesser than V reference. So here it was V sat was positive. So whenever V, v in becomes lesser than V reference, immediately the output voltage will make a transition from plus V sat to minus V sat. So likewise, uh, there will be transitions in the output voltage from V sat to minus V sat whenever uh, V in is greater or lesser than V reference. So now here you can observe when V reference is negative. So when V reference is negative, here V in is greater than V reference. So V sat, v, v naught was equal to V sat. So now here V in is becoming lesser than V reference. So V naught will make a transition from V sat to minus V sat. Now again here V in is greater than V reference. So here output voltage will make a transition from minus V sat to plus V sat. So this is all about the non-inverting configuration of the comparator and its input and output waveforms. Now coming to inverter, inverting comparator. Here the input voltage, since it is inverting, it is given to the inverting terminal this is a sinusoidal input voltage and the V reference voltage is given to the non-inverting terminal of the op amp that this V reference is obtained from the potentiometer that is of 10 kilo ohm and this 
will form a voltage divider between plus VCC and minus VCC. And here, the same logic. The V in and V reference will be compared. Based upon that, the output voltage will make a transition from plus VSAT to minus VSAT or minus VSAT to plus VSAT. So since this is inverting, there will be 180 degree phase shift between the input and the output waveforms. So here you can see input V in is greater than V reference. So here now, since it is inverting, the output voltage will be equal to minus VSAT. So as and when V in is greater than V reference, the output voltage will make a transition from plus VSAT to minus VSAT. Now here, V reference is less uh, greater than V in. So V set of output waveform will make a transition from minus VSAT to plus VSAT. Okay. So this is what positive V reference. Now here I'm considering negative V reference. So here around the negative y axis direction, I've chosen V reference. And here, whenever V in is greater than V reference, output will be minus VSAT. So that is indicated here. And whenever input voltage is V in is lesser than V reference, VSAT is positive. So this output voltage will make a transition from minus VSAT to plus VSAT at the, this particular instance of time and so on. So this is about the inverting comparator. It is easy to understand and zero crossing detector is the next topic. Basically these comparators are AC to DC converter, meaning if you give a sine wave as an input, you will get a square wave or a pulse as an output signal. So the zero crossing detector is one of the application of comparator. With this is the configuration of inverting comparator with V reference equal to zero volts. These two diodes functionality remains the same. And uh, to talk in simple terms, zero crossing detector is one wherein the output signal will detect any crossing of zeros in the input signal. So since it is inverting, the output and input waveforms will be 180 degree phase shift. So as you can see here, uh, input waveform is making a transition in the negative direction and it is crossing zero here. So output waveform is making a transition, output signal is making a transition from minus Vsat to plus Vsat. So here also in positive direction, V in is traveling and here it is crossing zero at this particular instance of time. So here, output wave voltage will make a transition from plus Vsat to minus Vsat. This is simple. And uh, in some applications, V in will be a slowly varying signal, meaning frequency will be very low. So in such signals, the signal will uh, take um, more amount of time in order to cross uh, uh, this uh, zero voltage. Uh, so in, uh, in that uh, in, in such applications, the transitions in the output voltage from Vsat to minus Vsat will not be that much uh, quick. And on the other hand, there may be noise present at the op-amps uh, input terminals. So this will cause some amount of fluctuations in the output signal when it is making a transition from plus Vsat to minus Vsat or uh, minus Vsat to plus Vsat. So all such problems can be eradicated with the use of regenerative or uh, positive uh, feedback. So now we will use uh, positive feedback for this configuration itself and that itself is known as a uh, Smith trigger. Whatever I explained now is written here. And now we have uh, Smith trigger. So previous circuitry, zero crossing detector with regenerative or a positive feedback itself is the Smith trigger. This is also a square wave to pulse uh, 
gender to sine wave to a square wave converter and uh, here this is the input signal and this is the offset minimizing uh, uh, resistor that is uh, the parallel combination of uh, r1 and uh, r2 and uh, the output voltage is triggered each and every time whenever the input voltage crosses certain voltage levels that is upper threshold voltage and lower threshold voltage these upper threshold voltage and lower threshold voltage are obtained from the voltage divider that is formed here by the resistors r1 and r2 okay here whenever the output is equal to plus v sat okay the voltage across r1 is called the upper threshold voltage whenever the output voltage is minus v sat the voltage across R1 will be lower threshold voltage. So this, the potential at this node is variable. It can be varied. So based upon the output, this voltage will vary. This is mainly depending on the output voltage. Okay. You can get either upper threshold voltage or lower th threshold voltage at this particular point depending on the uh, output voltage. If it is plus V set, you will get upper threshold voltage. If it is minus V set, you will get lower threshold voltage. Okay. So here um, you can see whenever this input voltage crosses the upper threshold uh, voltage, the output will make a transition from plus Vsat to minus Vsat. And whenever this input voltage crosses through lower threshold voltage, it will make a output voltage will make a transition from minus Vsat to plus Vsat. Remember, since this is an inverting configuration, the input and output waveforms will be 180 degree phase shift. Understood? And this Smith trigger will exhibit hysteresis. That is a dead band condition. You can see here, whenever this input signal exceeds the upper threshold uh, voltage value, this uh, plus Vsat will make a transition from uh, the output voltage will make a transition from plus Vsat to minus Vsat. Where can you find that? Here. Whenever this Sorry for the disturbance. Due to the internet, this is a problem that I'm facing, sorry. So hope you all understood about the, about this hysteresis loop. And here, the difference in the upper threshold voltage and the lower threshold voltage will give us the hysteresis voltage. So it is equal to V U subscript UT minus V subscript LT. So this is about Smith trigger and V U T here. It is given by since it forms a voltage divider V U T L it will be obtained at this particular node, VUT will be equal to R1 divided by the 
sum of the resistances r1 and r2 into when will i get the upper threshold voltage whenever v not v out is equal to plus v sat so v ut is equal to v1 by r1 plus r2 into plus v sat similarly v lt meaning lower threshold voltage will be equal to r1 by r1 plus r2 into minus v sat i'll get lower threshold voltage whenever the output voltage is minus v sat so these are the equations for upper threshold voltage and lower threshold voltage and like this uh, the use of positive feedback will eliminate the false transitions due to the noise and it will eliminate the disturbance also and this uh, hysteresis voltage is equal to the difference in the upper threshold frequency voltage and the lower threshold voltage so from those two equations we are getting this expression for the hysteresis voltage now we have a few problems to solve under this topic all problems are just substitution and calculation we know all uh, only those three formulas vut blt and uh, hysteresis voltage formula if you know that's enough you are just supposed to substitute and then calculate and then we ask you to write the waveform just go through it is simple you will understand if you have any doubts i'll clarify and for this problem you are supposed to draw the waveform i'm not drawn purposely and this problem you are supposed to solve and these are the values of upper and lower threshold voltages that you are supposed to get and this is the hysteresis voltage value so this is all about comparators zero crossing detector and smith trigger in the next session we'll study about the next topic